Hello, my name is um, Bill. I live in Michigan. Um, I'm a lifelong conservative and a Republican. I first got involved in politics when I was a teenager, when I was a big time advocate um, for Ronald Reagan, then George Bush. Um, you know, I stayed true to my party all along. In 1989, when Tiananmen Square happened, it really reaffirmed my beliefs as a Republican because the United States was that shining city on a hill that Reagan talked about and Bush continued with that vision, a place where people could come um, to seek freedom. We have veered so far away from that. I didn't vote for Donald Trump in 2016 because I heard what he said. And it goes back to when someone tells you who they are, believe them. Um, I was a supporter of Marco Rubio in that, and I um, ended up doing voting third party, which since then I'm ashamed that I did, because that enabled Trump to win, like in Michigan, by 11,000 votes. Um, to tie back to the Tiananmen Square idea, when I see what's going on in Portland and around this country, I'm ashamed. It hurts me deep in my soul when I see what happened in D.C. at Lafayette Square. I'm from Maryland. And when I see the city that I used to go to all the time being torn apart in the name of a photo opportunity and peaceful protesters being carted off, I really don't recognize this country at this point because of the three and a half, almost four years of the Trump presidency. And we all need to unite behind Joe Biden. I'm gonna be voting for a Democrat for the first time in my life. Um, I live in Michigan and we're all so proud of the job that our governor Gretchen Whitmer has done. And we're all gonna be even more proud on the morning of November 4th, when we hear that Joe Biden has won the presidency. So I urge you all to go out and vote for Joe Biden. I know I, I will be, and I'll be telling everyone too. Thank you for so much for giving me this opportunity to speak. And let's, let's keep up the good work. Let's keep moving towards um, November 3rd, and let's take our country back. It's better to lose an election than lose your soul as a nation. Thank you. Goodbye.